change up the scenery and go to Quito, Ecuador. So we're about to meet our host family in Quito, Ecuador. Go, let's go meet them. So we're Damon and Joe. That was us meeting our host family for the first time. We studied abroad in Mexico first, wanted to change up the scenery. We came to Quito and let me tell you something, it is very different. We filmed our journey and this is what it looks like. If you want to study in a big city, we recommend going to Quito. So the school is located in a neighborhood called El Batan, which is amazing because it overlooks all of Quito. I felt like every morning when we would go to school, we were going to see our family. <laughs> You can choose to study for four hours or more, either with a group or individually. Every week there's a going away party for those students who are leaving to go back to their countries. I actually left speaking Spanish. In Quito, you have the option of living in a shared apartment with other students, or you can live with a host family, and that's exactly what we did. No English is spoken. And there are other host students here too, from Germany, so it's like we have German roommates, which is awesome. The best part of our room is the porch, patio, whatever you call this. Hello, Quito! Just the other day, it was my birthday, and the host family even made a dinner for me, made a cake and sang in Spanish. What are you cooking? Platano. Platano verde. We decided that we would be fully immersed with our Ecuadorian family. <laughs> Let's talk about activities because they are worth mentioning. You guys, salsa classes, number one. Salsa Joanna, classes. those are always your favorite. Let's talk salsa about that. Salsa classes. One day, you know, my teacher was teaching us Spanish and then right after class she turned into this salsa teacher out of nowhere. <laughs> We all had such a good time, not only when we were salsa dancing, but with the cooking too. Everybody goes to the activities together. We had a barbecue one day, we went to the mountains to hike, and you just build relationships with people from all over the world. <laughs> so cool. The excursions in Quito. Phenomenal. <laughs> So one excursion we went on was Cotopaxi Volcano. We climbed up that bad boy. We climbed to the top. In one excursion alone, we managed to go to a butterfly farm. This one is like my best friend. <laughs> go canopying through treetops. Ah! Oh my God. Ride in a Jeep through the rain in the jungle. Oh my God! And dive in a waterfall with all of our clothes on. I'm gonna go in. Now I will be able to say that I have crawled through caves to go to a waterfall. So if you haven't realized it yet, Ecuador means equator and that's exactly where Ecuador is located. And that's exactly where we took a trip to see the mitad del mundo structure which is on the equator line in Ecuador. So overall, if you're looking to study Spanish in a big city like Quito, this is your location. This is your school. And you don't always have to be in the city because you can take excursions to the beach, to the mountains. You have it all here in Ecuador. We tell you right here, right now, loved it. Loved every loved minute. Loved it.